In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the alternator on this Dodge Ram 2500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. Look at it at the front top of your engine. Let's get started. Let's disconnect the negative battery terminal to cut power to any electronics in the vehicle. For me, this is a 13 millimeter or half inch mounting nut. For you, it might be different. So I'm going to loosen this up. Once you loosen this up a few turns, you should be able to spin the terminal, pop it right up and off the battery, and I like to tuck it down in here so that it cannot bounce back on and make connection while I'm working. Use a 3 8 drive ratchet or serpentine belt tool. Stick it in the tensioner right there. Pull clockwise on it. That should release pressure. And then you can remove the belt. There we go. Let that go. Remove your tool. Now let's disconnect the main power wire off the alternator. If yours still has this cap, pop it off, squeeze the two tabs, and then with a 13 millimeter wrench or socket, break this bolt free, or the mounting nut for the cable. This one was quite tight. Hopefully yours is not. Just be careful, because a lot of times you could uh, break the stud internally in the alternator. The lock washer on here, take that off, set the cable aside. Let's unplug this connector. There's a lock on it that we have to pry up on. There we go. Pry that locking tab up and then remove the connector. We have to remove this bracket on the front of the engine here so that we can get this bolt for the alternator out. 13 millimeter socket for all four of these, uh, well, nuts and bolts, two bolts, two nuts. I'm just gonna break them free by hand and then I'll put a power tool on to make things a little quicker. Sometimes these get pretty tight. Remove the bracket. With a 15 millimeter socket, break free the two bolts that hold on the alternator. For this one, you'll either need a deep socket or a wrench, just because it has that stud poking out of it. Okay, take this bolt out. And on the other side. And there it is, take that out. At this point, you might need a pry bar, pry the alternator up. There we go. There it is. Grab your alternator, slide it over the mounting bracket. Once it's in position, line up the bolts. There we go, that's one of them. That one started in. It's perfect. I guess I'm just gonna bring it in as far as I can. And put in the other one. Snug these bolts up. The torque for both of these is 40 foot-pounds. All right, reconnect this connector. Make sure it clicks. That's locked in, it didn't click, but it is locked in, I didn't hear it. Lock the lock down, and then reconnect your main power supply wire. Make sure it's free of any corrosion, mine is. Had a lock washer on here, and the mounting nut. Bottom it out. When you tighten it, just snug it up. It doesn't need to be extremely tight, it just needs to hold this wire on here about an eighth of a turn after it stops spinning or, you know, bottoms out. Should be good. Reinstall this cap. If yours is broken or missing, that's okay. Reinstall this bracket. Put on the three mounting nuts and that one bolt. We'll snug them all up. Torque for this is 20 foot pounds.
All right. You got your 3 8 ratchet in the tensioner. Pull the tensioner clockwise. That should give you enough slack on the belt to put it up and around. Uh, well, ideally I would do it around the idler because it's a flat pulley, but it's further down and I just can't get my hand in there. So I'm going to go around the alternator. Makes it more difficult because of the ribs that want to uh, stick. But at this point, you always want to double check your pulleys. As you can see, this one is not lined up. So I'm going to put it back on there. Double check everything else before you uh, call this done. Looks like down there is good. This one's good. Everything else looks perfectly lined up. Now do double check it again after you turn the engine on, turn it on for a couple seconds, shut it off, come here and check it. But at this point, this looks good. We're ready to reconnect our battery. When you put this on, it might make a spark. Don't be afraid of it. Just hold it on there, put it all the way down, tighten up your terminal with whatever tool you use to disconnect it. Once it gets snug and bottoms out like this, give it just a little bit extra. That's all you need. If you cannot spin this by hand, you know it's tight enough. If you over tighten this, it'll actually stretch this terminal and then it's not gonna make a good connection over time. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.